This is another beard trim tutorial that I decided to make. In this one, we're gonna focus on just placing the lines right, getting the right angles for the contouring of your face and getting a more hard angular jaw. You know, all the good stuff that's gonna make you look more manly and mean. Don't know about you guys, but I'll use all the help I can get. So you can see I got a bit of growth. This is as bad as it gets for me. I've been waiting two weeks to make this tutorial. You can see I already done some taper on myself, but this video is not too much about fading and stuff. It's about lines. So for the strong lines, we're going to start with a strong shape. We're going to brush the beard inside out first and then just press it down, not in, just down. So I'm starting with number two guard on. And remember, we're not digging into the face. Just stay parallel to the face. Even if you leave an extra bulk, don't don't need to roll it in and round your beard at this point. I'm gonna open the lever when I get closer to my chin. That's where we have to be a bit light-handed and keep a bit of extra bulk, so open the lever there. If you're using a clipper that doesn't have a lever, then just be light-handed. Now some of it, we do cut it against the grain. So anything above that comb now is gonna get cut against the grain because we're using this area to blend or fade our beard. So from this angle, you can see I try to go up first, but uh, it's not going to give me much. So I go against the grain of the hair. So, so try to go against the growth of the hair and get the maximum out of this number two clip. There's some imperfections there, but uh, that's not something to worry about. So now we got number one guard on. So I'm going just straight away. I'm going sideways. So that's going to give me a little bit more out of this one guard. So I'll open the lever and also, as you can see, I'm trying to blend it as I go. Same thing on the other side. I'm going to start with the sideways again. Uh, that's going to get me maximum out of my number one guard, as you can see. And uh, then just open the lever and sort of flick it in with the corners to blend it. If you notice, I'm using 45 degree angles to blend it both ways. If you don't have a lever on your clipper, just be a bit light handed and use the corners a little better. Now to blend the final bit into the skin fade, yeah, I'm using a 0.5 guard. So first inch I'm going closed lever and then opening it a tiny bit to blend it to the next bit. And then I'm gonna take the clip off and uh, I'm gonna just flick it in with 45 degree angle, just overlapping skin and the 0.5 area. To blend that, I, I had the lever closed and now I've opened the lever just to clean up my fade area. But you know what? That's It's too advanced. I should, yeah, don't worry about it. For this part, I'm trying to use a liner trimmer to flick in that really fine line into the skin fade. But you don't have to worry about it because most likely you won't be fading it into a skin fade. Yeah, that looks all right. Yeah, for some reason I forgot to do the mustache earlier and I'm doing it now. So I have a one and a half guard on and I opened the lever, but I think I'll have to eventually close it. Uh, usually I go sideways on my mustache, but you can go downwards if you think your mustache is too light and you go against the grain if you think it's too thick. You can even go uh, number one on your mustache depending on how thick it is. For me, the sideway with a one and a half guard should work. The next part is the most important part of this video. So this is what this whole video is about. So we're not gonna use that dragging technique like I did in the last video, because with that technique, you get a good line from the side angle, but from front on angle, it never looks straight. It always feels a little imperfect. To fix that problem, what we're gonna do, we're gonna just press it on from eye level. So from front on angle, eye level, we're just gonna take the blade where we wish the line was and just press it on. Uh, it's still a bit thick, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go again and press it on. Uh, that's an okay line. Now I'm just dragging to clean, but as soon as I get close to the line, I'm just gonna have to press it. So you have to press it a few times because there'll be a lot of hair sticking. It's a 3D mustache. So you gotta bring it in from few angles and press it on. So see, by pressing it on, it's a very straight hard line. After that, we're gonna do the lines underneath it and uh, I'm pointing them out. And I also noticed that one side of my mustache doesn't connect properly, but that's okay. Um, so we're gonna take the top line as a guide and press the bottom one exactly parallel to it 
For the next one, the bottom corner need to be tilted away from you a bit to protect that 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 area underneath. So you don't want to overlap that. And same thing, we're gonna go straight, eye level, press it in, and try to get aligned that way. And then we probably will clean it by dragging it later, like I'm doing now. I'm gonna quickly clean this middle bit. It, it doesn't take much for me because I don't have much hair there. So make sure you keep your blade away from the mustache and quickly clean it. There's not much to do there. Now I'm gonna brush my mustache down. Uh, we might have to do sideways again, but but first we're gonna brush it down, and then we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna draw a parallel line on the other side. When doing this, make sure that your blade finish exactly where your beard line is gonna start, or at least where you think you want your beard line. I like to overlap with a couple of hair, but that's just my preference. So just pressing it on straight eye angle uh, a few more times. Just gonna get from all angles if anything is sticking out, but it's all right. So from side on, you can you can check it and maybe maybe clean it a tiny bit. You might have to drag it a bit, but uh, I'm just pressing it on. All right, now the big one, the beard line. So this is the angle that's my favorite that works for most people. I don't like those weird angles that like that, that rounded ones. Each to their own, but I I I, I always find them really weird. Um, so I'm looking at it from profile. I can see where it's gonna sit and how how it's gonna look like. I'm happy. I'm looking at front on. I still think it's good. I think it's a really hard, nice angle. And now I'm gonna bring out the the trimmer and make my guideline. So this is not the final line. Just remember. So I'm just pressing it on, and uh, and I'm sort of dragging it away. Um, pressing and dragging away so that's gonna give me a nice guideline and then we work on it uh, freehand we're gonna get rid of that uh, comb in a second there you go so just going over it a few times just press it on i'm just trying to make it more straighter and perfect uh, same angle there you go it looks all right i'm pressing it on a few times from the side angle i'm just checking I think it's pretty self-explanatory at this point. I could just shut up for a second. Yeah. All right, so on this side, we're gonna repeat the same thing, but in reverse, again, it's not really that important. Uh, you already know what I'm doing. Um, same thing, just matching it on the other side, uh, keeping that area protected so you don't overlap it, then clean it after. Um, the lines should be parallel. Um, interestingly, I didn't do the top line first. Um, I think you should do the top line first. Oh, I didn't do it because I realized that I need to use my left hand for it. Uh, otherwise, it was blocking my face. So I have to I have to see the mirror and also film it straight. So I'm having to use my left hand. So I decided that's the line I like. I'm pressing it on and uh, there you go struggling it's a left hand but yeah pressing it ah, looks all right same thing I'm dragging and cleaning should be good uh, I think for the line I might be able to use the right hand it's gonna be a bit tricky but oh no okay still doing the left hand for this line okay pressing same thing, so just pressing eye, le eye, eye level, cleaning it from the side. Um, so just checking where that other line was. Now matching it. You don't have a lot of um, autonomy at this point because it's predetermined where that line is gonna be. So looks good from the profile. Yeah. Um, yeah, pressing it. Yeah, I can use my right hand. There you go. So pressing it up. Oh uh, no, it's blocking my face. All right, so you, you know how I did the other side. So just pressing, that's a good line. Just have to do a little bit more freehand work to get it a bit better, but I, I think the line is already pretty good. Uh, so for that part, you have to make sure that it's not too thick or too thin. See if you can use a second mirror to check your profile, but for now we're gonna do the bottom line and uh, with bottom line we match the same angle from the top line 
and we just make sure the width is right. So see I'm matching the angle, I'm gonna drag it down, that's where it looks like it's the right width for my face and I'm just pressing it on. In this case you don't have a choice here, you can't drag this part on, it's very long hair. So just, just making sure that the angle stays parallel and true to the top line, you do not have to worry about anything else. It looks really good from the underneath as well and now I'm going to match this to the other side so you can check your ears as a guide and then match the angle first and then the width there you go that's pretty good press it on and that little bit of middle that's left uh, we can worry about it later so now I think I want to take some from the front and I always go just straight I leave those corners for the absolute last. Um, there's a reason for it. That's what gives us a really nice strong shape. So make sure that you don't get rid of these corners. If you see them, just keep them for, for now. Um, just cleaning that little line because it did not get cut when I was pressing it down. Just, just sort of connecting it. Don't need to obsess with it. Once the lines are done, we do a little bit of detail with the exterior. So I just like to just get rid of those little bit of hair on the surface. It's just the surface. We're not really going into the beard. We're just uh, brushing it out and seeing if anything sticks. So brushing it out and see if anything is sticking out and just get rid of that. On the other side, I'll show you how I do the same thing with the scissor. With the scissor, it's like you're less likely to make mistakes um, as long as you don't go in randomly with any angle like that. Just, just parallel. So hold the scissor parallel to the line and just cut any hair that sticks out too much. Don't have to be perfect, but uh, even, even those things, I, I like to keep them. Um, you'll see like it'll look just as good or even better by keeping those corners. So now that bit, so you gotta, you gotta drag it and then make that line. Should have done the line earlier, I think, but that's okay. <laughs> I've done a few things in the wrong order today. So same thing on the other side, just predetermine where the line is gonna be and press it on, press and slightly drag, repeat it a couple of times and that should be good. Now, it's actually pretty good if you if you're a beginner but if you're looking for more out of this then uh, you can use a two guard with the lever open make a two and a half and attack those dark patches wherever you see them but make sure you don't get too ambitious and go flat against your face just use the corners you see if you can get some of it off get it close to even but don't try to make it perfect. With this, we have reached end of our video. In a second, I'm gonna show you how it all looks like. I'll also leave you with some bonus content of me blading this beard to get it sharper. But let's have a look at this first. Lines are sitting pretty well. The shape is good. There's symmetry, there's hardness. It's all pretty good. Now, before I go, I need to plug in my beard pencil. I read some of your comments last time. Some of you guys really hated it. I, it's just, it's a detail, it's an option. You don't have to use it. It's a, it's a wax based thing. It looks very, very natural. Like it looks exactly like hair. It doesn't look like color. So, I mean, if you wanna buy it, it's up to you. It's not, I mean, you know what? I'm out of here. <laughs>